Hey guys, Miss Ramped here. Uh, this is my fourth try at making this video for you, so hopefully this time it works. <laughs> um, okay, this video is all about how to log in for attendance with Infinite Campus and how to go ahead and get started on Pathblazer for those of you who are starting the year at home. So uh, the first place I would recommend going is to our sixth grade website. So you all should have gotten that information on how to get there by now. But if you need it, just get rid of that little back spot, spot there. It's just sites.google.com slash lioncsd.org slash res grade six. That should take you right here. Now on your homepage, I've tried to put like all of your important stuff in one spot um, so that if you are feeling overwhelmed, you really just need to come to this page and it can take you to everything. Um, I know my meet link did not work for everyone last night and I really don't know why, so sorry about that. Uh, you have your supply list, you have some like tech tutorials for you guys if you're like feeling confused. Um, you have the daily self-check. Remember, you have to do that every single day before you come to school. You have to check off that list. And if you have to answer yes to any of those things, do not come to school. Okay. Now, those of you at home have to check in every day for attendance. So you're going to come down here where it says infinite campus here in green. You're going to click on the link and it's going to take you to this page. Once you get to this page, you are going to search for our district. We are Lion. You're going to then choose your state. We live in Nevada. And you're going to hit search. Once you hit search, you're going to see only one district comes up. And you have two choices, parent or student or staff. Well, you guys are parents and students. Now, if you want to set up your campus parent portal, I highly recommend doing so, but you need to get some of that information from Ms. Kasani in the office. I do not have access to whatever codes and whatnot you will need, so that is a Kasani in the office question. For purposes of logging in for attendance, you are going to log in to campus student. It's actually really great that they're having you guys do this this year because your student will have access to this for the rest of their career in Lyon County as a student. So um, this is good information for them to have. And they can then check their own grades and their class schedules and everything when they transition to the middle school and the high school, this all follows them. So this is actually a good thing. All right, your student's username is their seven digit student ID number. So. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But your student has their own ID number. I bet if you ask them, unless you're new to our district, they already know what it is. They're just going to type that in. Now, when you go to password, this is where it's um, going to get a little bit tricky until you figure it out. It is the first initial of your first name. So for me, that would be D the first initial of your last name, for me that would be R, and then it's your six digit date of birth. So I'm gonna use my son's birthday, he was born February 28th, 2005. So for that date, I would put 02 for February, 28, 28th, 05 for 2005. Um, You'll notice the initials at the beginning are lowercase. Do not put in uppercase or I'm told it might not work. So lowercase. And then once you're done, you just are going to hit log in. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because this is not going to work <laughs> yeah, because I just made this stuff up. Um, but when you choose log in, it should take you to a screen that says something about checking in for attendance. And I'm told that it's as simple as clicking the box that says, yes, I'm here today or something like that. Okay. Once you click that, yes, I'm here today box, you can go away from infinite campus because you will no longer need it for the day. 
So once you go away from that, I recommend coming back to our, our sixth grade website. And then you are gonna go down to Pathblazer because remember at home, you are required by the district to do two hours of Pathblazer every day you are at home. An hour for reading, an hour for math for now. Now, um, if you are unsure how to log in, I suggest that you watch this video that I've put a link to here. It's Miss De Pasquale explaining all the steps on what you need to do. But if you know how to log in, you're just gonna go ahead and click that link that says Pathblazer and it's gonna take you here. Now, you'll notice that right now I've already changed this, but when your student logs in for the very first time, this school information is going to say Odyssey. If you do not change it, it will not allow your student to log in. So the first thing you need to do before you even bother about your username or password, you need to type lion, a space, and then capital CSD. It does not matter if you capitalize lion, but CSD must be capitalized. And there has to be a space in between the word lion and the CSD, okay? Now, once you do this, it's going to take them into their home page and there's gonna be a reading option and a math option. For the first couple days of school, the only thing they're going to be allowed to do is the screener. So as soon as they choose one of those options, it's gonna take them directly into a screener assessment and it's going to identify their level that they need to begin the year at. Once they are done with that screener, the next step is going to take is going to be to take the diagnostic pretest A. And they have to do that for both reading and math. And once they're finished with those, then it's going to load their lessons for um, for learning and and identify their individual path, okay? So I would say for the first day, take the screeners for both, um, or maybe take a screener for reading and the diagnostic pretest A for reading on day one, and then for day two, do the math. Um, either way, it's going to take them about the required amount of time to complete those things if you're doing it like one day at a time. Um, which is fine. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go get rid of that and you're gonna come back to our webpage and I highly recommend you check into the Google Classroom because there is gonna be some social studies activities that I'm posting, some second step activities that we're posting, and I'm sure Ms. Robson is gonna be posting some science and um, math stuff as well. So in addition to that, I keep telling you all about my read aloud, so if you wanna hear it, it's in the classroom, okay? So um, the Google Classroom links are right here, depending on which class you wanna check in, in with first. All you have to do is just hit the link that is right next to the teacher's name or the class name, and it should take you right there. Parents, if you still feel like you are don't know what to do with Google Classroom, that's okay. I've included this video here for you. If you watch it, it will literally walk you through step by step how to get your kids logged in and what like important features they have that are gonna benefit you guys at home. Um, I also included some, some information here that I know people struggled with in the spring um, regarding logging into their Google accounts. So just to recap, come to the website it takes you everywhere you need to go. If for some reason you have followed this video and it's still not working for you, come back to this website and right here where it says contact the teachers, shoot us an email. Um, we will take a look at that as quickly as we can and get back to you again as quickly as we can. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, welcome back to school. Bye.